टू ईयर्स बैक आई अटेंडेड फीस इट वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हाउस इन कोलकाता वेर आई हैड दिस अमेजिंग चटनी मेड आउट ऑफ टोमेटोज एंड डेट्स I took the recipe from his mother, tried it off at home, and since then it has become an important side of dish at my family gathering. Hey guys, my name is Hitesh. This is Bunny in the Blue Jacket, and you're watching Food Bites, where we'll be making an amazing sweet and tangy chutney with tomatoes and dates and some flavoring ingredients. The pickling flavors, the sweet and savory taste, that little touch of heat makes this chutney a great companion of all sorts of parathas and breads. Here I have taken 2 tablespoons of mustard oil in a pan and kept it on high heat. We'll heat the oil till it starts smoking. This process is very important so that we can get rid of the pungent smell of the mustard oil. Now, you can see that the oil has started fuming, so we'll lower the heat and let it come down to a moderate temperature so that we can add our flavoring ingredients into it. Here I have taken 1 by 4 teaspoons each of nigella or kalonji seeds, cumin seeds, mustard seeds fenugreek or methi seeds and fennel or sonf seeds the temperature of oil has come down so let's add these seeds into it these seeds will give an amazing pickling flavor to our chutney here i have taken 3 to 4 red chilies which i have split into halves once the seeds have properly spluttered add the chilies into the pan and give it a shake i have taken 250 grams of roughly chopped tomatoes and once the chilies turn crisp add the tomatoes into the pan and mix everything well together to bring the flavors out add salt as per your taste and give another mix the tomatoes have started releasing the juices now so we'll lower the flame and cover the pan with a lid and let it simmer for 10 minutes It's been 10 minutes and now you can see that the juice has been reduced and the tomatoes have turned nice and soft. So now we'll add 100 grams of de-seeded dates which have been cut in small pieces. Mix the dates and tomatoes properly and let them cook for 5 minutes on low heat. Now add 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 teaspoon of dry mango or amchur powder and mix everything well together. It's been 2 minutes. The sugar has melted and you can see that the chutney has turned glossy. Switch off the flames, let it cool down to room temperature and transfer it into a sterilized glass jar. The tomato dates chutney is ready to be served. This can easily be refrigerated for 10 to 15 days. Well, that's all for today. If you have liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure you have subscribed to the channel so that you'll not miss any of the upcoming updates. This is Hitesh signing off for now. I'll see you around next weekend till then take good care of yourself and keep watching Bunny in the blue jacket